Good morning and welcome to Zen Fitz, the center of the world here in Blackstone, Virginia. And uh, is that, yeah, that's okay, yeah. Anyway, uh, here it is, uh, Monday morning, and uh, we're pumped up and ready to go. <laughs> uh, yesterday, we talked about uh, Trump as James Bond and the whole idea of Trump for his followers being a Bond hero the Teflon, always able to get out of a fix, above the law, the license to be above the law. Yes, that's the key to James Bond, the license to kill. Trump even said it himself, I could stand on Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and my people would still vote for me. He has the license to kill. But there's more to this story as we uh, look at the after effect of the uh, storming of the Capitol. Everybody's got a video going. Everybody's got an iPhone. They're filming it. They want to be on the whole thing. The, the capital storming of the Capitol was a group selfie. I mean, we all I, I'm 84 and I grew up in uh, four technologies. Uh, the first one was radio. I grew up as a little boy listening to the Lone Ranger on the living room floor with a coloring book. That was the oral tradition. Uh, Rush Limbaugh has continued that. <laughs> NPR, and now, iP now uh, iPods, um, pod podcasts. But this whole idea of oral tradition is a medium. And along came TV. And this was like a great god. I mean, the TV came into the living room, sat right there, and everybody just sat around and watched the, the test signal waiting for the show to start. It was fascinating. And, but it was passive. You didn't interact with it. You consumed it. The imagination was gone. Radio, you listen to, uh, no, no, I forgot to put my, uh, oh God, I thought I forgot. <laughs> uh, with radio, you listened to the story, but you filled in the background. You, were, you were interacted with it. You heard the storyline, and you filled in what the Lone Ranger looked like. You participated in it. You created the background for the story. TV came, it gave you the background. You didn't do anything. The child just, uh, we just sit there and there's no interaction. You don't fill in the background, it's already given. You just consume it. <sighs> then came uh, the internet and, St and Steve Jobs' mouse. Now the computer became interactive. You could move it around. You could interact with it with your finger, boom, 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 you see. And this moved to the touch, you know. So we had the, the uh, internet, which was an interactive step from the TV. The, it's all on the screen. You've got the screen and you're interactive with it. And then you have the uh, evolution of the interactive screen to the cell phone, where you touch it instead of having, you just, everything is with touch. Uh, you move it around, but at the same time, what happened, what's happened is now, is that instead of being in a passive relationship with TV, we're in an interactive relationship, and now in a production relationship. We're all movie producers now. We're all looking at ourselves and TikTok, everything's a movie. We're producing our own life and watching it as we do it. Isn't that interesting? So we are creating a movie and we're living in it at the same time. Like Norman Rockwell did a painting of himself, painting himself and the, and the painting coming out and painting him. So the, we're, we're creating a movie, we're producing a movie, we're acting in the movie and we're watching the movie and enjoying the movie at the same time. Oh look man, I'm at the Capitol, storming the Capitol, hey fucking hey. <laughs> We don't know what we're doing. The movie has become the thing. We don't know. We're disconnected from what we're actually doing. And we think we're doing something, but it's in a movie. We're the audience and the actor at the same time, you see. So we're kind of like in a trance. We're kind of like in a technological trance now, where we 
want to, we exist because we can see ourselves exist. See, I'm a self see. I exist. I can see myself in the screen. <laughs> I'm looking here. I've got this thing on mirror. I'm looking at my, I'm just talking to myself here. <laughs> see, I have no self consciousness because I'm just looking at myself, you know. I'm just creating a little movie here. Talk to myself in it. So we're all talking to ourselves in this vast technological movie we're creating. And Trump politicized it. Basically, he understands performance. He understands uh, selling a product. So he sells himself as a performance. And we buy into it and create a movie of us and Trump. Now we've created a movie, the grand finale, of storming the Capitol. And we'll be able to show it to our kids. Oh, look, there I was, storming the Capitol. <laughs> it was really great. I'm important. <laughs> I'm really doing something. It's a revolution. I'm a revolutionary. But wait a minute, I got to go to Walmart. You see, so we're kind of like living in this uh, vast uh, consumer uh, economy where every all you go to the uh, ship shopping mall and they're all the same stores no matter what city it's the same franchise the gap or whatever and uh, we all shop together and we all have electricity and we all have water and we all have Christmas and all of our holidays but we're all in this movie alternate reality movie where we're uh, warriors fighting the evil empire and uh, the Star Wars and, and uh, uh, Biden is Darth Vader or Trump is Darth Vader, uh, whichever movie you prefer. So we're all in this multiplex theater complex. We don't get out of the movie, we just create another movie to be in. This movie's no good. Good, I'm going to the one next door. I can hear them hollering and shouting. That sounds like a good movie, I'll do that. Change religion, we don't get out of religion, we just change the religion. I'm going to be not. I'll be enlightened now. I'll be. Uh, uh, I'll be a Buddhist now. That's a good movie. Or a non-dual. You know what? The non-dual movie is better than the dual. So I'll be a non-dualist. You know, it's all a movie. And we and we tape self ourselves selfie. So life has become a selfie. Life has become a selfie. You know, we need to see that. It's kind of like the the operating system of a culture has changed. Because of our, how many years have we been since radio ended? Uh, 40, 50, 60 years, 60 some years. We've been watching a screen of reality. We've been watching the screen and believing it's real. When you go to a movie, there, is a, there must be a suspension of disbelief so you can enjoy the movie. Otherwise, you remain in the audience looking at your watch. When is this stupid thing going to be over? But if it's good, you see, you forget your watch. You forget yourself, your little problems. and That's why we go to the movie. I forget my personal movie. I forget my movie world. And I go into the screen movie. And I get to be everything in there. I get to be Indiana Jones. See, I get to be John's James Bond. And I know that I'm, if... Uh, if the character dies or gets tortured, I'm not going to get tortured, but I can vicariously live the life of James Bond. So Trump is a James Bond hero. His followers can vicariously live the life of James Bond in the movie of Trump the action hero, you see. And they can storm the Capitol and film it. It's a great production. It's a cinemascope. Cecil B. DeMille's. <laughs> you see. So this whole, uh, you know, and even speaking of Cecil B. DeMille's, in the 50s, there was this plethora of uh, cinemascopic Bible movies. Now, the Bible is a movie. And God looks like Charlton Heston. And, uh, you know, and so Moses and all of these, very, it's all like a movie, see. So even religion has become a movie. A production. And we go to a church, we're in a movie. You see. <laughs> we come home, we're in another movie. But we're also producing that because we're taking selfies. You go on vacation, spend the whole vacation taking the film of it. 
and you go home and it's advertised. You know, go on vacation and preserve your memories. We live. We want to live in the memory of life. We want to live in the in the selfie. We want to say I exist because I'm on there. And you go home and you watch yourself what you were doing. Oh, look at I was doing that. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. Thanks for dropping in.